Hey guys, so this is the writing video. So, students, here we go. Every sentence starts with a capital letter. We have a word, space, word, space, word, space, and what's at the end? Good, punctuation. Good. So what we're going to start working on is informative writing. And what that means is we're telling someone about something. So before we worked on opinion writing, what we think. Okay. I like hot dogs better than hamburgers. Or maybe my favorite color is blue. So it was all about what you think, your opinion. So now informative writing is something that you can prove. It's not just what you think. Like, if I say, this mouse is black, we can prove that's informing you that it's that color. Or maybe that I say, um, let's see, the playground is red, and it is, right, that we play on. Um, or maybe we say, brownies are sweet. We know that they are sweet, okay? So, informative writing, we're telling someone about something. So, today, since it's supposed to snow, I want you to write a sentence telling me two things about snow, okay? If we think right now, what do we know about snow? It's white, okay? What else? It's cold, what else? Now, you can't really say it's fun because does everybody think it's fun? That would be just our opinion. So it's white, it's cold. What does it turn into when it melts? Water. Okay, so we're going to inform somebody of snow. You know, there's some places that don't get any snow. So let's pretend that we're writing this sentence to someone that doesn't know anything about snow. So our first word is snow, okay? First word is snow. So you're going to sound out snow. So with your pretend rubber band, stretch out that word, and we're going to say sn, sn. What did you hear? You heard S, S. Okay, so we're going to write an S. So, I've got my paper here to give you an example. So, remember, always start your letters at the top. Good. So, my capital letter, I'm going to make an S. Now, make sure you write your letters correctly. We've been working hard on that. So, let's stretch out snow. We've got S. So, S. O. What letter says O? That's right. O says O. Now remember O is one of those letters that has to go below that dotted line in the middle. So we go around like a C and then we close it up. So sn O. Hmm. What letter says W? W. Good. We've not really done W so let's really watch. So I start in the middle and I go down, up, like a V, and then we go down again, and back up. Good. Snow. Parents, it's okay if it's not spelled correctly. It shouldn't be, because they're sounding out. I know it's hard sometimes to let them spell things incorrectly, but I promise it's okay. Snow is okay we've been practicing is now you don't have your spaceman at home so use your finger so remember we're going to put our finger for a space and now we're going to spell is okay sound out is i i i i what letter is that i i good so we're going to start in the middle go down to the ground and our dot goes up high okay so, I, now I can take my finger off because I left that space. So, is. Now, z is a z. That's right. But we learn that this letter sometimes makes that z sound. What's that letter? S. Good job. So, remember, it's not going to be a capital S like this one because we're not at the beginning of the sentence. We're going to do it right here. 
So go around. Almost like, look, you're making a little bitty C. And then you're going to go back around. So that's a curvy letter. Snow is. Now I want you to do that part on your own. Maybe you're saying cold. Maybe you're saying white. But you sound it out. Listen. Don't try to trick mommies and daddies and aunts and uncles, grandma, grandpa, whoever's helping you. Don't trick them into spelling it for you. You spell it. Okay? So just sound it out. Use that pretend rubber band. Parents, if they need help with the sounds, that's okay. But try not to spell that for them because that's what we're working on. It's called like invented spelling. They need to spell it on their own to learn those sounds. All right? So snow is tell me something about snow. All right, you have that writing paper, so write that sentence, and um, if you can, practice writing your first name and your last name one time, okay? Remember to put your letters on the lines correctly, okay? If it's a diver letter, it goes under that bottom line. If it's a short letter, it goes between the middle and the bottom, so try to do that for me, okay? You're awesome. And don't forget it. Love you guys.